Hi guys, I know you're kind of accustomed to getting fly fishing information from me, but as I was saying earlier in the year, we're going to spread our wings a little bit further and take in conventional fishing because quite honestly, if I'm traveling like I have to to get to the Texas Gulf Coast, that is when I'm most likely to carry conventional rods and my weapon of choice for, for my concealed carry is a spinning rod because that's what I kind of grew up with and what I was most successful with as a kid down on South Padre Island and Three Islands and, and Arroyo City and in South Texas. So right now I live minimum of 300 miles from the coast and typical travel for me is 400 to 600 miles. So if I'm going to do all that, load it up, load the skiff up, load the fly rods up, why not on a day like this, if it's not thunder and lightning, why not get out and throw some conventional rod? So this is part one. There's going to be another part on what I carry, which is I'm very, very like a newbie at this conventional stuff. I, there's things that I don't want to throw and I'm kind of slowly sliding down the slope and going to end up probably throwing ru this rubber stuff, this uh, pl plastics because it's so successful but in part two I'm going to show you what it is I carry as far as uh, lures I don't do bait I don't do croakers or any of that stuff but this this episode is about rods so I've got two travel rods by TFO very old rods probably not made this way anymore this is the heavier one signature series TFO TRS 704-3 it's a seven foot medium action line six to twelve this is a pretty nice rod for me for salt because it'll handle the heavy lures i'm i'm just i hope i'm using the right language because man I'm, I'm just trying to help out for people who need to know or want to know what they might carry to back up or what i do is prospecting to prospect while you're looking for what the, what fly to throw where you can prospect with a spinning rod and reel like this this is a 3000 pin battle old version loaded up with eight pound fluorocarbon and uh, i'm very I, i'm i'm so new to this braid is something that i don't know anything about so but we'll get to that so anyway that's my that is really my salt water rod of choice has all the backbone I've ever needed for trout and for redfish and I've caught a few of each for sure from Alabama to Mississippi to the tip of Texas on that rod had had that for a long time um, and I'm probably gonna be upgrading my rods away from TFO and I'm looking at Waterloo so you guys at Waterloo I'm coming to get you Waterloo rods Victoria Texas this is the second one I carry. This is really my freshwater sand bass rod when I need to need food for the family. Uh, but I refitted it with a Florida Fishing Products 2500 reel. This is a sweet, sweet reel. Look at this guy. And they included for me their braid and the 15 pound braid, which that sounds like a lot for a little reel. The drag, I think, is eight pounds on this thing but the diameter is so small on braid that that's that's the smallest line weight i could find or i could ever saw was eight pound the diameter is so thin that uh that is a fantastic reel it's going to get its first try out next week i think if we can get, if it doesn't rain we're gonna get washed away but uh so that's the reel this rod another tfo trial rod three piece trial rod means three piece and this one I can barely read the writing on this. This is a Lefty Cray series. Ah, there it is. TICR2 S663ML, medium light. It's a line weight four to ten pounds. The lure weight one eight to one half ounce. So that's some lightweight stuff for throwing small stuff. And uh, this reel and this combination, it's gonna be very interesting to see what it can take. I have nothing to lose. If I break them, I break them. I'm going to get new rods anyway. Waterloo, I'm coming to get you. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Now make sure you click on uh, www.texasflycaster.com in the 
description below and you can get more information on this little uh, foray into conventional fishing with spinning rod, salt water, Texas Gulf Coast. And part two is coming up. On part two, we're gonna talk about what lures I use, which I'm such a newbie, you probably think I'm stupid, but anyway, you're gonna see what lures I use and, my, and people give me a hard time when I go out with them when I do throw these lures because they're using stuff that's much more, supposedly more successful. But uh, anyway, part two coming up.